Steve Bolson for the East Coast Conference, where today the Dowling College Golden Lions women's basketball team defeated the NYIT Bears by a score of 72 to 49 to capture their second straight ECC Women's Basketball Tournament Championship. We're here now with the coach of the Golden Lions, Joe Pelicane, and uh, coach, different place, same result. Uh, nice to see you back this year. Well, we are thrilled to be here. Um, the outcome, we couldn't ask for a better outcome. And similar to when I met with you last year, how lucky am I to have a group of kids that understand what altruism means, understand what team means. And it's just a joy for me to be in the van, driving and listening to them, and, and to be their teacher coach. Well, let's talk a little bit about that. Those attributes uh, that, that you credit so highly that you, you've done not only these couple of seasons where you've had a lot of success, but always. It's always been a part of your program. How much of that uh, starts before they ever put on the uniform in the recruiting process? Well, you're correct. Would, would you? that question and asking that question because it doesn't start with me. It's nothing to do with me. It has to do with them and their families. And what we do is, is, is discuss it all the time. We try not never to take things for granted. We talk about it and we try to hold everybody accountable. And Coach Krzyzewski said years ago, if you could look your teammate in the eye and give honest appraisal, good and bad, then that's really something in this day and age at any time that's valuable and we value that. Well, let's give an honest appraisal of today's performance. Uh, NYIT, we know, is a quality team, a quality opponent, and even though you've beaten them twice during the regular season, it was a pretty impressive performance from your team today. There is no way of predicting that, and, and unfortunately, I know the feeling. I know the feeling a couple of years ago when we were at Queens and we had beaten Queens College, we were at Delphi, I'm sorry, we had beaten Queens College twice, and then we lost in a 20-point game similar to this, but there again, in Massachusetts, we could wind up playing them again, and it could be a one-point game, and it could very well be in NYIT's favor. As we look at, at your team, it's easy to look at the frontline players. We'll focus on them first. Of course, Danielle Wilson, who was just tremendous today. Christine Varel, the outstanding player of the tournament, and Connie Simmons. Speak a little bit about what the three of those players have brought to your program. Well, I mean, Connie and Sager, Gamble, the four-year players, have really helped propel this program. And they've won more games in the four years than any other two in the East Coast Conference history. And we're proud of that. They sacrifice. They just don't try to score points. They'll do whatever it is that's needed at that moment for the team. Christine Morell, my youngest daughter who coaches at Lower Marion, knows I do all the help in the world. So she says to me, we have a young lady here who is the MVP of my friend's team for two years, and if you don't recruit this kid and get her to go to your school, I will never talk to you again, and you will never get a Father's Day gift again. I said, Lauren, I'll do whatever I can. I love her, absolutely love her. How could you not love? She is one of the biggest winners never, ever, you see her having a bad day, which is unbelievable, and she is about every one of her teammates and every one of her team. Now, I know at this time of the year when people win games, they talk about this, but this is so true. And when you speak to her, I think you'll see some of those characteristics. And she's a player who's accepted a slightly different role this year from her Rookie of the Year performance a year ago. Uh, only averaged seven points per game, but that's not what she was called on. You saw today that those of us who, who've seen the team know what she's capable of doing from the perimeter and five three-pointers today was a big difference maker in this contest. Well, she is, as you know, a terrific perimeter shooter, terrific leader. She leads our team in minutes. There's a reason for that. And we have to... As much as we love her, I have to threaten her life. And I have a father's passion. We have to threaten life to shoot the ball we own because she's capable of having games like that. Well, the team executed extremely well today. The ball movement created a lot of opportunities for everyone and I think frustrated NYIT's defense a little bit. Uh, now you move on and the, uh, the bar gets set a little bit higher. First of all, what do you think that the team learned from being in the NCAA tournament last year? Is there something that you think these athletes can carry with them that will help them this year? Well. I think we certainly have learned from experience in the sense that we knew that it was quality teams, but knowing one thing and then seeing it and feeling it two separate issues. And we know at play because we play Bentley, we try to play the quality people, as you know, on our 
non-league schedule, and, and we have great respect for the Holy Family. There's, I think, Post is going to be in this tournament tonight, NYIT, and Down College, three teams from our league. How good is that for our league? Two years in a row having three teams. And with that said, though, there's been a lot more competition within the region this year. A lot of people feel like that this is uh, one of the first times that the ECC made serious inroads uh, in with the, the NE10 schools as well as Holy Family, which has been a formidable program out of the CACC. Is there a little bit of an onus on your team now, on your program, to carry that through the NCAAs and prove, hey, we belong on the floor with you guys? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what we talk about. We talk about who the opponent's going to be. And then we're going to have this week to prepare. And that is only, that's the only thing we talk about. We don't set goals preseason. We gotta win the regular season. We gotta win postseason. We gotta win this. We have to prepare for the opening day. I did not do a very good job on that. Every, coming out of the gate and losing that game at certain. But that's what we talk about. Because that's the only thing we have control over. All those other things are nice, but it's rhetoric. It's what you do today and what you emphasize and what you, and how you prepare for today. And that's what we believe in, that's what I believe in, and that's how we approach it. We don't talk about this and then at the end, sometimes you're very fortunate and you get to cut nets. Well, Dowling College got to cut the nets down today under the guidance of Joe Pelican for the second straight season. Coach, congratulations and good luck in the NCAA. Thank you so much. Joe Pelican of the Dowling College Golden Lions, the 2013 East Coast Conference Women's Basketball Champions. They're moving on to the NCAA tournament with the automatic bid. You can find out more on eccsports.org. For the East Coast Conference, this is Steve Balson.